Hello, yes, the tipping point. How little things make a big difference. The book on me left there, it's quite good. I bought that several years ago and it's regarding how little things can make a big difference and the tipping point can uh, arrive regarding various issues or problems society faces and off over the cliff it goes and change comes about. But applying that to us as British nationalists here in Britain, there's a problem and I'll tell you what it is. When our tipping point is about to go over the precipice, say like with the Manchester Arena bombing atrocity, what happens is the media stalls it, it stops it. What it does, it'll call for, it will respond, should I say, I'll just stop myself there, it will respond to the uh, emotional upset that people are feeling at the awful reality of children being blasted to death with nail bombs and whatever, right? The, the emotional upset, they will cleverly control and manipulate that. They'll call for concerts, vigils. The MPs will get up and say, stand strong. Don't let the terrorists win. Go about your bother. We're stronger together. So our people are our people and they don't know what's happening to them. They're being manipulated. So they do what they're being told to do. And they see everyone else doing it, so it's a group collective thing then, isn't it? And that's how it works, you know, because people will collectively think the same as opposed to individuals. So get them all together at a concert or a vigil or wherever. Tell them to be strong, stand tall, don't let the terrorists win. United! And we'll, they'll never defeat us and all that crap, right? So the first wave of those that are emotionally upset, they're then soothed and contained, aren't they, if that's the way, that's the right way to put that, they're sort of like, they're happy now, that they've shed a few tears, you know, and they've all kisses, cuddles, hugs, and teddy bears, lay flowers, had a vigil, listening to all the usual nonsense, and they've went to a concert, and so they're happy now, their upset has been addressed, right? Then there's a second wave, more angrier, demanding action, so they'll call in Tommy Robinson, Football Lads Alliance and so on. March them up and down the high street. Have them chanting, shouting, even shouting for blood, for vengeance. Then march them into Witherspoons and have a pint. Then there's the third lot, which makes up the vast majority of the millions of people in this country. How they're then uh, manipulated and controlled is they are so frustrated they are so scared, they're so angry, they don't know what to do, they don't go to the vigils or the concerts, they don't go marching on the high street, they just then sink probably into a bit of depression and to deal with that depression and fear, frustration, they then immerse themselves in entertainment, pleasure seeking, whether or not it's watching Love Island or some other reality TV or going out clubbing and partying of a weekend. That's what they do. So the third wave, which is the vast majority of people in this country, they're sort of contained and uh, anaesthetized, if that's the word, by entertainment. That keeps them happy, that then. They can forget about all the horrors and the evilness around them by immersing themselves in entertainment. And it doesn't mean because they're bad people. The victims of this are people, remember. Don't be attacking them. They're victims. They don't know what to do. They don't understand. They're leaderless. They're listening to these craven bastards, you know, peddling a load of shite to them. And they don't understand. And they're so frustrated. And they're fearful. They just immerse themselves in entertainment to deal with the awful truth around them and the depression that must come with it. It gets me down at times, and I'm sure you can see that in some of these videos, but I know that I can't allow myself to uh, be moved by emotion. I have to be strong and strong I will be. So that's how they stop our tipping point. They stop it going right off the precipice, right down to the bottom, which is where we need it to go. So what's the answer then, Joe? Well, we have to go into our communities, talk to our people, the forgotten, beleaguered, white working class, and offer sensible solutions to the problems they face and are going to face in the very, very, very near future.
We can't go to them with extreme measures. That's not going to work. Hang them. Send the assassin. I at first believed all that. It's not going to work with our people. They're scared. They're frightened. Right. But we have to go in there with a sensible and better solution. Alternative than um, the craven, cowardly MPs are uh, preaching to them and whatever. And the silly pop singers and whatever. We have to go into them and make them understand that we as British nationalists are the only ones that offer a solution to this endless nightmare you find yourself in. Because it is. The world's an endless nightmare. Right? There is chaos and bedlam. Mass murder on a scale unprecedented probably in human history. There are wars. It's literally everywhere. But that's another video in itself. Trying to explain that to the public would just scare them away. We have to go in there and talk to our people. We have to offer alternatives than what the craven, cowardly MPs are offering them. We have to speak to them, right? We have to go in there with a human face, whereas in the past we've been frightening them, been scaring them. When the BMP under Nick Griffin got attacked together, we were like a, uh, what's the word for it now? We were like a conquering army entering places of occupation that had been living under tyranny and terror of uh, Islam or whatever. We were greeted like, you know, heroes when we went into them areas. And we can get that back again. But we're not going to get it back with the nonsense our enemies are pushing. Right? You've got to get rid of all of them. They're all working for the enemy. Right? We can do this again. In fact, we have to. We have no option. What's the option then? Just... Nick Griffin, British Unity, regages hating news articles every day. What's that achieving? Or having cult figures like Whitefire 66 give us usual nonsense with no solutions. Do you remember that one as well? I was thinking the other day. The Maid of Kent. These are like cult figures that nationalist movements has conjured up. Some may be the enemy, some may not be, I don't know. It may just be hobbyism. But what do you think the public thinks looking at these cult figures that are being created in the nationalist circles, you know, Whitefire 66, what does that mean? Maid of Kent, I know the Maid of Kent, it's some 16th century Catholic maid or something, was it, whatever. Uh, but all the same, we're in the year 2017 now, and our movements are still pushing nonsense with cultish type figures like Whitefire 66. Who's that for? Who's it meant? I mean, we have to go sack all that because it doesn't work and you can't explain to our people in a complicated way that it's their fault or it, it's some global uh, financial catastrophe or conspiracy. It's over their heads. Christ. And we're still doing it. Nick Griffin being one of them. We have to go back into the communities and talk to our people. Right? Offer a sensible solution which we've got. But getting back to why, uh, also there's another reason I've done this video as well. That's how the tipping point is stalled and stopped. So that's why I believe no matter how many more bombings happen, the media will again stall it and stop it through the aforementioned, what I've said. Right, that's the purpose of Tommy Robinson and the uh, Football Lads Alliance and concerts and vigils. The media knows what it's doing and the powers that be and all the rest of that are manipulating our people. That's why if you're waiting for some tipping point, that was the theme of this now. If you're waiting for some tipping point, it's not going to happen. The bombs will go off and the same will happen. The emotional upset will be controlled via marches, uh, sorry, via concerts. Vigils, teddy bears, kisses, cuddles, whatever. The second wave, the angry lot, will be controlled by marches, uh, courtesy of Tommy Robinson, the Football Lads Alliance, and the vast majority will just amaze themselves in entertainment and pleasure seeking because they're so depressed, they're so frustrated, they're so scared, they don't know what to do. So don't believe a tipping point is going to arrive in this country. It's not, we've got to make it. Okay, thank you.